Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm gonna do my year-end makeup empty. So this is everything that I have for the year. I was going to like section it off into each individual category, but as you can see, I am like <laughs> first time doing this as a total, and I really just wanted to lay everything out so you guys could see it and talk about it as I go. So let's start over here. So I have four packages of the makeup remover cleansing towelettes from Neutrogena. I love those. I actually use those on my face. I have two of the Retinol, um, what is this, Global Beauty Care makeup cleansing wipes. These are from the Dollar Tree. I use these for swatches. And then I have two of the Rich Radiance um, Cocoa Butter Cleansing Wipes, and these are also from the Dollar Tree. These ones I can use on my face, but I, I use them for swatch removal. This one I used from a hotel. I forgot my makeup wipes that day, so I did use this one, and I did count that one towards my empties. And then I do have one liquid makeup remover from Meyer Elements. It's an oil-free makeup remover, and I did like that one. Then I have this in a package because this is what I use for Halloween, so it's really, really dirty and gross. But anyways, I have two sponges in here, a Real Techniques one and a Pure one. And then I also have another Real Techniques sponge and a e.l.f. sponge. This is like the hourglass type shape. And then for the final sponge I have, this is from Eco Tools, and this is like a mask removing sponge. I like that one for removing my like uh, charcoal masks and like thicker like clay masks. So I have five sponges total. And then moving down here, I have the Becca First Light Priming Filter. This is the only primer I have in here, which is super surprising to me because I thought I had used up more, but I guess not. Then I have two eye primers. I have this light beige one from Too Faced, and then I have a Lorac behind the scenes eye primer that comes with your palette. Um, I wouldn't really necessarily repurchase either one of these. Then I have the little mini size of the Elizabeth Mott What Up Beaches that I got from an Ipsy bag. I loved this as a contour. I did buy the full size. Then I have the Essence Make Me Brow in the shade 02 Brownie Brows. I have already repurchased that. Then moving to setting sprays, I have four setting sprays total and then one like face mist. So the four that I have is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I love that one. I have repurchased. The Maybelline Master Fix. I love this one. These two are literal dupes of each other. And this one, if you can't afford this one, this is exactly the same thing. Um, so obviously I would repurchase and I did repurchase two of these. Then the Essence Keep It Perfect Makeup Fixing Mist or spray, I would not repurchase. I did not like that. I didn't like the mist. I didn't like the sprayer. I didn't like the product. No to that one. And then the MAC Prep and Prime. Oh my god, why can I not talk? And then the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I obviously would repurchase this, but it is quite expensive. And I did mark it for a project pan with tape because you can't back to MAC it if it's written on. And then this only skin mist I have is the Tarte Ready Set Radiant. I didn't love it, but I do have backups of it, so I will use it. Moving on up here, I'm going to go on to perfumes, and then we'll go on to the rest of the makeup stuff. So I used a Swispers Cotton Rounds, I believe. This one was from Walmart. And then I used a Body Fantasies Cotton Candy Fantasy Body Spray. This was the Body by Victoria Energize Body Mist. I would not repurchase this one. At this point, I wouldn't repurchase this, but I already have. And then this one is the Davidoff Cool Water Eau de Toilette. Um, I did get this like in a three pack and I'm using up the other one, but I don't love it anymore. I used to like it a lot more. I did use up a bunch of the small size of the perfume sprays. I do like to buy the kits of these, like the $65 or $68 kits from Sephora that you get the full size one for free and then you get the other ones to test, so I do like doing that. Hence the reason I have so many and I have a ton to use up this year. But anyways, I have Prada Candy, not super happy about that one. This is the Ralph Lauren Romance, I do like that one. This one is Tory Burch Love Relentlessly. I would buy this one. These two um, are the original Coach Scent, love that one. I did purchase the full size. This one is my Burberry Blush. It was okay. I used that one on the cruise, but it wasn't my favorite. It wasn't the worst. 
This is Curious by Britney Spears. No, this is Kate Spade, New York. I do have like a deluxe size mini of this one and I do like it. I just don't know if I would purchase like the full size. This is Alien. I would totally repurchase this one. Love that one. This one was like a Sephora automizer and it was the Nest Wisteria Blue. Love that one. Then this is Versace Bright Crystal. Enjoyed that one. And this one is um, Aqualina Pink Flower by Pink Sugar. And I love this one. I do have two of these actually. So that was all the perfumes here. Then I don't really know what category to put this in, so I put this in makeup, but this is the Lash Food, and this was like the eyelash enhancer. Would not repurchase it. Totally not worth it. Irritated my eyes. So on to foundations. I only have like small size samples of foundations that I finished. So this is the base by Laura Bingle. I would totally, totally purchase this. It did not break me out. It looked great on my skin. Super light coverage. Really enjoyed this one. Then I have five packets of the Born This Way by Too Faced. They are like, only two of them are in the same color. All the other ones are in different colors and I was able to mix them to make a really good color match for me. So I did repurchase this in the shade Nude. And then for eye products, I have four mascaras and two eyeliners. I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I really enjoyed this one. Then I have the Tarte Gifted. I would repurchase this. This one I wouldn't necessarily repurchase, but I do get a lot of samples of these. The Gifted I did repurchase. The Benefit Roller Lash. I only like this when I layered it with other um, mascaras, so I wouldn't repurchase that. And this is the Lancome Hypnos, Hypnos Drama. I loved this one. I would repurchase. I have not, though. Okay, you guys, I did forget to mention with these mascaras... And with your brow mascaras, anything that has a mascara wand, I will leave the website down below, but you can just wash out these wands. Can you see it? You can just wash out these wands and you can donate them to Wands for Wildlife. And they basically use them to brush out the fur and the feathers and stuff of animals that need it. So basically they are a really, really big help. They're all donated wands and you just clean them off and you donate them. It's very, very cheap to ship them out. And yeah, so if you guys are uncomfortable shipping them, you can ship me your cleaned wands. I basically just wash them in some Dawn dish soap and some water and the mascara comes right off. The waterproof ones are a little bit harder. Um, I would recommend using like a liquid remover to for the waterproof ones, but basically all of these wands can be used in another way. So instead of just recycling these or throwing them away, you should donate the wands, the cleaned wands. They don't want the mascara tube, just the wand to Wands for Wildlife because that will help out. So, and I know that Andy May actually mentioned that in her empties as well. So I really hope more people get on this train of, you know, helping out more people than maybe just people, you know? And I'm a big fan of helping out animals. So make sure to do that if you guys are interested. If not, honestly, you can just send them to me. Just send them to my PO box and I will do it. So <laughs> that way we can help out the um, world a little bit more. So anyways, I wanted to mention that. Thanks guys. And then the two eyeliners, I have the Benefit Their Real Push-Up Liner. I hated this. It didn't work for crap. It was super dry. No. And then this is the Laura Geller Eye Calligraphy Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Black. I really liked this one. Let's see. Oh, it must have sat for long enough where it actually comes out. But anyways, it got super, super dry. I couldn't use it, but it must have been sitting for long enough. But anyways, I really, really love that one. The tip was not quite as sharp as I like the line to be. And then finally, over here we have lip products. So my absolute favorite of the year was the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stepping Out. It is like <laughs> super dry and disgusting, hence the reason I had to finish it off, but I basically finished the entire thing. So I already have repurchased this, love it. This one I would definitely repurchase. This is the Model Code Lip Lacquer in the shade Morocco. Love, love, love this one for lip gloss. I have two from Buxom. This is the Buxom Lip Gloss in the shade Emma, and this is the Buxom Lip Gloss in the shade Dolly. I love both of these. I repurchase these all the time. 
Then I have the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline or Madeline, and I loved this one so, so, so much. There's so much product in here, but I would repurchase this eventually. And then these two are the Stila Lip Glazes. One is in the shade Apricot and the other is in the shade Kaleidoscope. I loved these. I would totally repurchase. I have a ton more of these small sizes to go through, so I will be going through those this year, but those are the two I used up in 2018. So I'm sure that there are products that are not here that I did use up in the year of 2018 but honestly I am okay looking at this I didn't use up as much as I wanted to money wise or number wise but I think I did a great job for the first year of actually like keeping everything that I used and I'm really happy about that so anyways the total number that I used up was 63 products total and I do count everything individually. Like I do count these little minis individually. I do count these little foil packets individually. Same with this one, same with the sponges. Like even this one I did count individually because it was its own package. So as long as it's its own package, it's counted individually. So 63 products total. And the money, I was so close to 400, you guys. I used up $399.34. So <laughs> I'm almost at 400. So I think for the next year, for 2019, well for this year, in 2019, I'm gonna set my goal to being $500. That'll be 100 more than I used up this year. I mean, if I can use up more than that, that would be great, but um, I already have some makeup empties for the year, and it's only, what, the 9th of January. So I think I'm doing really, really well. I really hope you guys liked seeing all of my empties. These are some of my absolute favorite videos to watch. And I hope this setup was okay. Leave me comments down below if you guys have any tips or tricks on how to film these or if you want to see these like individually sectioned off, what would be better for you. So this is how I'm going to do it this year. And yeah, so this is the last of the series of my empties of 2018 total so thank you guys so much for watching give me a guess i'm gonna leave a card up above like a poll up above over here somewhere and see how much you guys think that i'm gonna finish up if it's gonna be about the same less or more i think it's gonna be more in this coming year but we shall see anyways i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and i will see you in the next one Bye.